Hey there, Rocco here. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I've just got a little quick video today. Uh, it was inspired by a request from La Femme Criminelle on one of my, my videos that I did a couple of months back, you know, surrounding the black lines on the forehead, if you remember seeing that. Uh, if not, you can have a look at the top uh, top right and you'll find a link to that video yourself so you can have a quick look. Uh, but anyway, what La Femme asked was, as you can see on the screen, I have a request related to this. If you can, can you show a tutorial how to get rid of the black rings or spots on the Genesis character's eyes when rendering? Uh, well, I can. Uh, it's took a while coming because it's not something that I know how to actually replicate, so I've about to wait until it's cropped up and then I can quickly drop everything and, and get a video done in it. Uh, if you don't know what La Femme is talking about, if I quickly just go over to iRay Preview, uh, you'll be able to see on the screen these little black rings that sometimes appear in the whites of the character's eyes. You can just see it around here. Uh, now, this is something that's rare that it happens, and it's it's a little hard to catch, as I've already mentioned. Uh, sometimes, though, it shows up in iRay Preview, and it's in your final render. Sometimes it just shows up in the preview, but not the render. And then sometimes it shows up in the actual render, but not in the iRay Preview. It's... Uh, you know, it, I think what's causing it, it's something to do with the moisture layer of the eye that's intersecting with the eye itself, which then results in these little black rings around the eyes. Uh, very similar to what happens with the, the hair cap on the forehead, which, I guess, like I said, is mentioned in that previous video that I've just mentioned. Uh, so how do we get rid of them? Well, there's a couple of ways we can do it. Uh, firstly, we can just move the model a little bit in the scene and that can do the job. Uh, you can just use the, the plus or the minus... Uh, little buttons here on the, on the translation sliders uh, in the parameters tab. Now, I'm not actually going to do that because when I first tried this on the first run through of this video, the rings themselves disappeared when I did uh, use the translation. But then when I used the undo button to put the character back, they were still missing, which was good. But when I then came out of iRay preview and then went back in, the, the rings had come back. So uh, it's not necessarily... A permanent solution to the to, to the problem that uh, so if you do use that where you do move them around just be prepared that they might come back at another point uh, anyway the best way to get rid of them and don't ask me for the why's or, or the wherefores or the how's because I actually don't know why this works if somebody else does know then of course let me know down in the comments uh, but the best way to, to to get rid of them is to come over to your render settings over on the left here and then come down to optimization and then come across to instance and instancing optimization. Now yours will probably be set on memory or auto if you are getting these these rings around the eyes. And all you actually need to do is just click on that, drop it down to speed, and hopefully, when Daz does its stuff, you can see that the rings have now gone out of the eyes. Uh, like I say, I, I'm not sure as to, to why this sorts the problem out, but it does, and so really that's all that matters, isn't it? Uh, that works, that does it, and it, it doesn't cause any damage or any problems anywhere. Uh, so there you go, that's how you get rid of them. Uh, so I hope you found this this little video useful. Uh, if so, then give me a little like down below, uh, because what that does, that tells YouTube that I'm actually a better YouTuber than what I actually am. And the algorithm will just help boost the uh, boost the video up in the rankings, and that's all good for me. Uh, likewise, as well, if you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure you're at the subscription button and the little notification bell down below, uh, and that'll help big time, so that also for you, that, that you don't miss any future videos. Uh, and finally, if you've got any comments whether it's about this video or any questions about Daz in general then drop them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to either answering them as soon as I can or if it can inspire a little video like this one did then that's good for everybody so yeah thanks for watching uh, and I'll catch you next time bye bye now